Hi, I'm Louisa Higgins, and thank you for joining me again for Easy Arts for Everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and you'll get our videos as soon as they're available. So today we're going to be doing something I like to call foil action sculpture. So we're going to be making little people out of foil. And there's three things I'd like you to remember in doing this project. First of all, I have the word finesse. And if you haven't heard that before, it's a French word. It means we're going to do something very carefully, deliberately, but also gently, because foil is rather a fragile material. And so if we're too rough with it, we're just going to rip it and things won't come out the way we would like them to. Secondly, I want you to think about action or gesture because our little people are gonna have their arms and legs moved in different positions based on what we're trying to portray for them. So we have a lot of freedom to choose what is the action that our little figure is having or, or what is the gesture that they're showing. And then through that action or gesture, our um, little sculpture is gonna convey an expression. It could be very intense or joyful or relaxed and you'll see how that happens when we start to play around with how this is done. So I like to do projects that use simple and inexpensive materials. This one for sure is mostly done with things you can find at home and primarily foil. And you have to watch it because this is kind of addictive. You might get so into it that you make a whole bunch of these and go through a whole box of foil. So you might want to check with your parent um, if you're a young person doing this before you get rolling. So what we want to do is we're going to have a square piece of foil. This is a good size to work from. It's about seven inches square. And you can see the center of the foil is the torso or this part of your body. And then up here is the head. And then coming out from the sides would be the arms and the legs. And so I'm gonna pull a piece of foil and I'm gonna draw on it where I'm gonna make my cuts so that I know ahead of time what I'm gonna do. So I have some foil here. Let's pull this out. Make a cut and put that aside. And I recommend using a ruler, but for the interest of time, I won't. I'll just go ahead and make my cut. So I'll have the two lines, oops, I'm gonna draw my tablecloth back, no, up at the top. Two lines at the side to indicate the arms. And one at the bottom. So you can see my cut, my lines for the cuts are about the same as what I have drawn up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a scissor and cut along the line. Remember, I'm using finesse. I'm going carefully. I'm not just handling it roughly. Because foil is tricky. The good thing is, if you have a mistake or it doesn't work the first time, you can try it again. So my head is up top, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gently crinkle together one of the arms so that takes shape. And I'll come over here and I'll crinkle the other arm. And I'll move down where the legs are. The leg. And the second leg, and you can see it's starting to look like a little person. And I'm going to go to the head last and be very careful how I'm shaping that. So now I've got the basic position, and you can see it a little bit better if I put it up against the black. And now that I have the basic position, I can start to play around with it and maybe. This arm is going to go up in a gesture, and this arm is going to go up as well. Maybe he's flexing muscles. And then I'm going to kind of flatten out the foot because if I want it to stand, which you can do, I have to have kind of a flat base. So what's fun about this is when you're done with them, they can stand up on cardboard. And so here are cardboard or cardstock. So here is one that I did, and that's in one kind of gesture or action. This one's a little more relaxed, like maybe it's in a yoga pose and it's contemplating life. And I've already did a couple in just a few minutes, which like I said, you can take a, a dot of glue. I think this glue is a little sticky. So I'm just gonna open up the top and I can put a little dab of glue on each foot and then put it to stand on the cardstock. So then when it dries, you've got a little display. So I encourage you to put the music on, relax, have fun, enjoy the art of working with foil, with finesse, and using your hands and being very tactile and kinesthetic, and see how many great sculptures you can come up with. You might have a whole gallery or a whole series. So thanks for joining us. Please subscribe and look forward to our next video that will be coming out very shortly. Thank you.